I posted a blog post today about the six reasons why we sabotage a relationship. One of the reasons is because we don't feel worthy and deserving of a healthy relationship. And I find this with the person who's been betrayed, but I also find this with the betrayer. So if you are the betrayer, listen up. If you have not dealt with your shame, regret, remorse, everything you need to move through it, and there's so many other things you need to do, very often what you do is you sabotage a future relationship because you just don't feel uh you just don't feel deserving of that good relationship it's still it's still lingering it's following you around like a shadow that unresolved uh unfinished business so um you know and i talk about what you need to do for that which is definitely right the wrong in whatever way you can um self forgiveness is a big part of this and of course learning from what you did and more importantly healing whatever led to it you know maybe it was a sense of entitlement maybe it was uh trauma from your past maybe it was you know i don't know whatever it could have been there are so many reasons doesn't excuse the behavior but it does mean you need to take a look at that stuff for sure um either way i am having a it's called the rebuild workshop and it is for the betrayer not the betrayer who is just on to the next and has no shame regret remorse I'm not talking about you i'm talking about the person who gets it who says what the heck was i thinking i i just i just hurt the person that I love the most, the people I love the most, what was I doing? I'm ready to play um, at a much better level. I'm ready to be so much better, show up so much better. I'm talking about that person. If that's you, join us for the Rebuild Workshop. Check out my link for I'm at my bio and you'll find the link there. And um, yes, it was. it could have been the worst thing you have ever done to someone you loved. And let's clean that up so you show up so much better and so you uh, do something really good with something really painful.